All right, let's do this thing. Several cutscenes. Let's go. I'm ready. Ilsebad, divided in twain by a vast mountain range. Those who would traverse its jagged peaks face peril at every step. But why go by foot when one can simply fly? <laughs> who let this man have this dialogue? Simply fly. On the outskirts of the Imperial capital, in the frozen wastes of the Magna Glacius. The winds howled in icy protest, as if to warn against further trespass. word from Thancred's reconnaissance party. They have sighted a detachment of heavily armed Imperials. Survivors of the Civil War, perhaps? Perhaps, but there is more to it than that. What am I doing? Let this play! Maxima reports that they are led by Virgilia. Legatus of the Third Legion, which comprises the bulk of their number. However, they are also joined by several members of the First. From what I recall, the Third Legion fought for Nerva in the War of Succession following That's what I was thinking. death. The First, on the other hand, were under the direct command of the Emperor and rejected Nerva's claim to the throne. These legions were enemies. Indeed. In fact, our sources claim that it was a conflict between them that sparked the Civil War. Yet now, these former foes cooperate to defend a ruined Garlemald from invasion. Then it is all but certain they have been tempered. So, what's the plan? If me and my crew is out reaving, we charge straight in, no messing about. But that ain't what we're here for. Quite right. Soldiers or no, they are people of Garlemald. The very ones we have come to aid. Direct confrontation is unavoidable. Nevertheless, we must make every effort to limit casualties on both sides. Rather than kill them, I would remove them from the field. How so? Savage beatings, disarmament and imprisonment? Not impossible. But easier said than done in the heat of battle. Having observed the opposition, I imagine Thancred had something to suggest? He did. He and the other scouts have already infiltrated a supply depot some distance beyond the Imperial Detachment's current position. Stored within is a stockpile of Magitech armaments. And once we give the signal, Thancred's team will destroy them all. In so doing, we will deprive frontline troops of materiel and likely force the detachment to send men to investigate. Divide and conquer. Not a bad idea. Once the scouts have finished their preparations, we will split into two groups. The first will form the vanguard, while the other brings up the rear with our supplies. As for the Scions, I ask that you lend your assistance where you deem it needed most. I would prefer, however, that you accompany the rear guard and be prepared to join the van at a moment's notice. Kept in reserve as our trump card, so to speak. 
I mean, I could go handle all of this, but like, okay. Meanwhile, proposal was well received. More specifically, they asked that we destroy the Imperial's toys in as spectacular a fashion as possible. Ishtola always did have a flair for the dramatic. She's not an easy woman to please, but I shall do my best to satisfy her thirst for fireworks. All right, once more for my peace of mind. Our first objective will be to rig the enemy's Magitek with explosives. After we've withdrawn to a safe distance, we'll detonate them remotely. Our second will be to issue a deactivation command to the automated units via the control terminal. If our calculations are correct, this signal should reach those deployed on the front line, giving our friends a much needed upper hand. The blizzard will help us stay hidden, so let's aim to get in and out before it passes. Trust in the plan, and we should all live to see tomorrow. In the meantime, I will relay messages back and forth as the situation unfolds. You'll forgive me if I ask again, but are you certain you wish to play the lone wolf? Wouldn't have it any other way. Call it foolish and reckless if you like, but I'll get the job done. I always do. Very well. I wish you the best of luck. What? What? I should have known this was going to happen. Oh my god. Jesse, jail us quick. Yeah, all right. Sure. Jail. There you go, you're in jail now. Great. So I'm just Thancred, huh? Lovely. Huge fan of this. And Thancred has his one abilities. Reduce damage taken. Mask your presence. Alright, great. Oh, this is lovely. This is just... I'm, sh I'm sure I will definitely fail this. All right. Assuming there's nothing else you wish to confirm, we may commence the mission as soon as you are ready. All right, we got this. Let's go. Let's go. This is going to be fine. And not at all me restarting this several times. Commence the mission. Keep your wits about you. It's time. We only have one shot at this, so let's make it count. Is that new? Oh, they want me to go this way? Gotcha. I'm just going to follow them. Nothing to see here but us. Thank you, boys. Living our lives. It goes out like that? Oh my god. Thank you, boys. Thank 
Squid Boys. <laughs> uh, thank God they're idiots. Hope that they don't operate under the same Metal Gear Thancred theories of LaCroix. Thank God machines don't value human life. Guys, kind of hanging out over there. We got time. Up. Oh no! Oh no! They don't value they don't value life these guys. I'll just wait. I'll just wait patiently. That guy's definitely not going to recognize all the knocked out people. Right? Right? This is fine. This is fine. Dog vanished. All right. Good dog. Only Imperial soldiers, huh? Well, that sucks. Whoop. What if we climb this ladder like a cool dude, Thancred? No. All right, I'll wait. I'll wait. a dude right there being a dude look away you big idiot the old hiding place eh wow I did well this is Thancred the explosives are in place very good. Is that where that meme is from? Is this is Thancred. <laughs> Head to the control tower. It should be to the northwest. This is Thancred. Understood. Have the others wait at the rendezvous point. Okay. Access the control terminal. Bump. All right, we'll wait for this robot that does not value any human life whatsoever to come back, walk back over, then walk back around, and then we're going to open the thing. Yep, still not valuing life. Awesome. And walk your ass away, you non-life-valuing robot son of a... Oh, my lord. 
Oh, my lord. Go, Thagrid, go! Ah! I don't want to get spotted. Oh, my god. Pop! Ooh, you don't see nothing! Y'all don't see nothing for nobody! Son of a... Come on. Alright, we'll take this guy out. Bump! Kidding me? Little robot bastard. I mean, I did throw a smoke bomb right at him, so, like, it's alright. What? What do you mean? They're not aware? They don't know nothing. Oh my god, these robots. Oh my god. They are dumb, though. They are dumb, though. Like straight up, just a battle happening right there, and I'm like, guys, I'm I'm on my way. Don't stress it. Go 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 Hell yes. Lovely. Just like leave this way? I can do that. Oh hey fellas. Turned, and none the worse for wear, to my considerable relief. What news from our comrades? They stand at the ready. Excellent. And let the fireworks begin. This is the Grand Boop. A few moments later. They stuck the two red mages in back? The blizzard's beginning to clear. The vanguard should be engaging the Imperials any moment now. If they haven't already. Ishtola and the others are with them, so I'm sure they'll be all right, but... <gasps> Wait! Something's coming! Oi, oi! Looks like we ain't the only ones who sent out scouts. Oi, oi! 
Keep them away from the carriages. Ah, uh, I've been waiting for this. We're as good as dead. Ah, I see why they left the two red mages in back now. We got this. Don't worry. We'll handle it. <laughs> Don't worry. We got this. You may want to leave my friends alone, you son of a bitch. How do you know little JC doesn't give a damn? He's just letting this dude. Ooh, that's my girl. Get him, I'll say. Get him. A brief respite, but stay alert. Keep the carriages safe. Bro, you did not. Don't worry, I got you, pal. Don't worry, Savior of Ishgard, I got you. Are still in danger. Go on ahead. I love we'll this new. This is great. This is great. I do not need to help these guys at all. <laughs> I don't need to help that side. Time we put our backs into it then. I've been eating for a good scrap. Alkazoka, the Supreme Slayer. That is amazing. I got you, Alka. I would love to if I could target it. Do I stand in the way? Oh my god, are these boys blocking it with the awesome power of being cool? Right 
We're fine and ready for more. Hear that? Get to the front and turn the tide. Literally just go north? All right. Ooh. Meanwhile. Removed from the field was not a euphemism for enthusiastically murder. <laughs> it's nothing that won't heal in time. <laughs> the trouble is, their tempering has made them utterly fearless. Subduing them would be easier if they had the capacity to submit in the first place. Well, this is the path our young charges would have us walk, and that we all agreed to follow. You knew it would be hard, yet still you pledged your lance, did you not? That I did. Jump! <laughs> Others take her down. Girl has not stopped moving. There's no end to them. Oh, hey, hi. I was wondering when you'd turn up. There's no stopping us now. There's old Come trusty on. pimp cane. Let's show them what we're made of. We have them now. Forward. There we go. Pip, I got you. Goofed on that account. Man shot a rocket at me. Right. Let them have it. Oh yeah, gather them up. Gather them around for a good old fashioned pounding. That was too far away. Oh my goodness. Show off mode, activate!
What is this bullshit? Man. Reinforcements, lady. The shit. Oh, she's using her spell, girl. I wish, I wish, I wish. Oh my god. You know what? F it. Go in, little JC! Ace these haters! I mean, no, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Take the Imperials into custody and rejoin our comrades. And soon we shall arrive at the capital. So cold and unforgiving, thus spoke. Emperor Solace, as he gazed upon his barren domain. I know that guy. Eight hundred years it had been since the Garleans first set foot here. Bested by the Kavosi, after centuries of war and driven from fertile southern pastures into the blasted northern wastes. In that garden of desolation, they clung to one another for warmth. Freezing, hungry, desperate, hated. The Chosen Forsaken.
In the year 1513 of the Sixth Astral Era, a young Legatus named Solus single-handedly sparked the Magitech Revolution. I hear there's a good video about that. How did he conceive the machina that feed on Ceruleum? Once a common, soft-spoken soldier, how had he so quickly ascended through the ranks? It was Essians all along. Like so many others, those who knew the truth are gone. Taking in the capital with his eyes for the first time, I recall thinking to myself, far colder on the earth than in the heavens. Yes, far colder indeed. Bitterly so. Cool. Zone three. Look at this. Not so much as a whisper. The roads leading beyond the city walls would have been used less in recent years. Nevertheless, this was one of the most important gateways into the capital. A buzz day and night with activity, aye. Merchants passing through the checkpoint, many of them stopping at the local hostelries. Surely they cannot all have been tempered. Have you seen that building? It's huge. We can consider the question after we have made camp. If we spend any longer outside, we may well freeze to death where we stand. The tempered Imperials, too. Of course, the kid wearing shorts is the one who's like, if it's actually really cold out. Operations, secure shelter for ourselves and the injured, and dispatch scouts to survey the surrounding area. If we're planning on staying here a while, we ought to give this place a proper name. Hmm. Well, the constant sound of ice cracking underfoot makes me think of broken glass. An apt name, perhaps. But enough of this. To work, everyone. Walking on broken, walking on glass, walking on glass. If you ever want to take a trip down memory lane, or if you just aren't old, uh, there is a song called Walking on Broken Glass. I think that's the name of it. Annie Lennox. Go look at that music video. It's wild. It has, um, oh, I forget his name right now. Dr. House. Hugh Lowry's in it. Um, it has, uh, uh, oh my God. Who is the other actor in it? Who is the other actor in that video? I can't, I need to turn off your punishment. Hold on. Who is the other actor in that video? John Malkovich. Hugh Laurie and John Malkovich are in that video. And it's crazy. It's a crazy music video. It's, and they're all dressed in like foppish outfits. Let me tell you, it's wild. It's wild. And the song is literally what they were just talking about. Walking on broken, walking on glass, walking on glass. So there you go. Uh, don't know why that's the bit that I was singing. Um, oh my goodness. Well, here we are. Hello, June. How's the weather? Our comrades certainly haven't wasted any time establishing a base of operations. Nanadu Nadu! Now that's a good lore name. There's people in there. You know what? Little JC rides his motorcycle, damn it. Mm, give this boy a tricycle. The old gemstone trader. Nice. Oh, 
What you looking at? You uh, what you look? You looking at something over there? Oh, you don't like being back here, huh? It's all right. It's all right. I'll give you. I have. I believe in you. Now let's get wasted. It's the bit that keeps on giving. You're right about that. What happened to everyone else, though? Where'd they go? Oh, they're all inside like smart people. But Julia is in our care along with the rest of the tempered. Glory to Garlemald, glory to Garlemald. They still whisper in their sleep, even as they writhe in pain. Raubon taught me a lot about military strategy during exercises in the fringes. Coordinating units with wildly different capabilities, surviving and securing hostile terrain, all that's that sort of thing. Now, I have a chance to put his teachings into practice. The tempered soldiers are sleeping soundly while they undergo treatment. There are too many to attend at once, but I and the other healers will see to it all eventually. How's bells? This place is bloody freezing. I'd rather be tied to the topmast in a storm than suffer this cold any longer. Anyone who can spare a swig of rum? Tataro took it all. I'm so sorry. That'll sort me right out. Once everything is in place, we will discuss our next move. This is all that remains of Laterum. Homes become empty husks. If this is the state of the outlying villages, I dread to think it would become the capital. We've asked the Ironworks members and some of our other comrades to stay with the airships. In the event we discovered, we must be ready to move them swiftly to a safer location. Oh, Pip. Oh, Pip. Are there any actual... Is that the only enterable build? What the shit? Hey. Hey. We gotta look out for each other, right? about this whole lightning outfit you got going on. A little stressed out about the fact that you look like lightning from Final Fantasy 13. I'm gonna let it slide. I'm gonna let it slide. Can you go in these? No. This is a no-go-in-place thing. Alright. Stola. Sorry, I'm feeling rather unwell. Guess that's it. Shouldn't be long before we have a half decent camp with so many helping hands. I was concerned the snow might hinder our progress, but Archguardian friends are used to working in conditions like these. In spite of the obstacles we face, our plan proceeds apace. Just a little farther, and we'll reach the capital itself. Still, we mustn't get ahead of ourselves. As soon as the camp has been made fit for purpose, we are to discuss our course of action with Lucia. 
Would you mind asking Ishtola and Graha to join us in the building to the northeast of camp? Alice and I will meet you there. Let me get on my bike. Oh, you all really want me to touch this thing. All right, cheese and crackers. <laughs> Fine, I'll touch the Magitek crystal. Meeting? Yes, I'll make my way over once my head is cleared. In truth, I've been feeling out of sorts since we arrived. The air is thick with palpable aura of malevolence. Tis the monstrous tower on the horizon, jagged, hideous, unholy. Even at this distance, its presence is overwhelming. Much like the sensation I felt in the Tower of Zot, only far more terrifying. Ether flows unceasingly toward it, converging into a swirling mass of unfathomable power. For blessing, the constant chill in the air is helping to anchor my senses in the here and now. Tell the others I shall be with you in a few moments. I did mention tricycle. So you know I gotta ride on my trike. <laughs> I'm a little boy on a tricycle. Actually, this is still a motorcycle. Oh, I thought this was a trike. This is still a motorcycle, never mind. Boo! Boo! You'll be pleased to know most of the tempering have been uh, most of the tempered have been quartered inside the nearby buildings and are receiving treatment as we speak. I do have a feel no small amount of guilt for commandeering civilian homes. The occupants may be long gone, but Everything's exactly as they left it. Considering the length of time that has clearly passed since, one would expect to find them ransacked. Strangely, there are no signs of anything having been stolen. It's possible that everyone fled the first time of trouble, though it seems to me they left far too many useful possessions behind. Aye, although there is no conclusive evidence, I strongly suspect that they were tempered. Sorry, I was merely talking out loud. You mentioned a meeting. I will make my way there. Linkus, I should have known. Alright, let's talk, shall we? Thank you for informing the others of our meeting. When everyone is here, we will begin. They're playing this version too much. Our present situation is as follows. Efforts to aid the people of Garlemald have begun in earnest. Moreover, having entered into the capital, the Imperial Palace is within our reach. But before we proceed further, we must learn what has befallen this city. For therein lies the key to understanding and combating the Tolofaroi's designs. I have a suggestion, if I may. Several of the Imperial soldiers we captured on the Magna Glacias are members of the Populares and acquaintances of mine. Once we have cured them of their tempering, they should be able to give a reliable account of the events leading to the capital's downfall. A promising idea. I will assist the healers and their ministrations. Of course. I will require a porksy of my own, assuming you can spare one. Oh, we got plenty of porksies. Would you like a hand? No, no, I am sure we will manage. Better that you take my place in the field. The noxious ether of this place disagrees with me, and as I shall need to draw on my own for the treatment, it will be prudent for me to remain within the camp. This talk of curing the tempered is all well and good, but I reckon the cold is a more pressing concern. All the houses round here are fitted with cerulean eaters that could keep us warm and toasty. 
Problem is, the machines seem to have given up the ghost, and if we keep sitting around, freezing our asses off, we'll be next. My Smiths reckon that with the right parts, they can have them working again, but it won't be easy. Understood. The machinists will assist them in the repairs. The rest of us should either stand watch or survey the area. I bet I know we what little she JC's gonna do. Lothroy. They will be searching for us, if they have not already ascertained our position. That we have seen no sign of them since the battle suggests they have yet to do so. However, I suspect they may be biding their time. Or perhaps we are beneath their notice. In any event, we'll find no answers standing around here. Uriange, Estinian and myself have visited Garlemald recently, so we'll lead the reconnaissance efforts. Perhaps bolstered by a few Bosnian and Dalmaskian scouts from my previous excursion for good measure. Don't forget about us Alamegans. We have experienced scouts of our own. Oh, no, at least this was like well, a... Now, this is turning out to be a rather sizable team. This is like a three daddies Such thing, I didn't... We should be able to cover a wide area with relative ease, including that surrounding the Imperial Palace. How about you, Graha? I have a feeling we'll find a use or two for that vanishing spell of yours. <laughs> Twould be my honor to be of service. Though I doubt that you of all people need rely on my tricks. That leaves us with guard duty. As a matter of fact, I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphano. Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhyme. I would have you search the area for survivors. Your keen sense of direction, honed in your extensive travels, should prove useful in navigating the ice fields. Ice fields? I love ice fields! Oh wait, I don't. Their survivors, we will surely find them. Extensive travels is something of an understatement. But I suppose, eh, you know what? No, little JC is always helpful. I have faith that you will, and look forward to greeting you on your safe return. You all have your duties. Let us make haste. May the fury bless and keep you. Yeah, the only time we had sassy little JC was during the uh, uh, near raids. I chose only the sassy options because they were great. The sassy near options were the best ones. What was I going to do? Help those dwarves with the kindness of my heart? Nah, it was all sass. I never thought myself much explorer. Though I suppose my adventures have taken me to all sorts of strange and distant places. With that in mind, traversing an ice field should be simple feat. No! Alpha no! <sighs> they all died in the, in the snow. Gods be good. If it's this cold with the Tara's, with the Tara's clothing, I dread to think how we'd fare without it. I must remember to thank her when next we meet. If it, it makes me realize, too, that while the people of Garlemald have spent their whole lives in conditions like these... Even they'd be hard-pressed to survive away from the warmth of their homes. If there are any survivors, we must find them, and quickly. How you doing? What ho, chums? Been given something to do, have you? As it happens, I too have been ordered to make myself useful. Sounds like a rather tall order. Damn! 
Since you ask, we're scouring the Elben Rhyme for survivors. What? Wander around ice fields on the off chance you'll find someone? Uh, you take forever to finish the job without the benefit of my expertise, or more specifically, my telescope. Come, friends. I know just the spot to begin our search. I'll probably regret this, but we may as well humor him. I'm an alien strikes again. Spoiler. He's an alien. There's only two quests here? For realsies? Bear baiting. Hello, hello, gemstone trader. I love your little hat. It's great. Yeah, all right. Gemstones, I'm gonna get some stuff from you. So I gotta go out. Which way? This way? Talk to me about the... to the east. It's gonna be up in this bull patoots, I can tell. Yarp! Say northeast, right? Yeehaw! I can do this. Interesting choice of music they have in this zone. Found the railroad station, the train station. I'm not particularly too worried about any enemies. Whoa, I found the train! Suplexed. Oh my god. Are they driving Volvos up here? Jesse, just finished listening to your Broken Glass song. First off, how dare you second, that song is wild. That song is not just wild, it's great. How dare you? How dare you? Straight to the north, 284, I got this. I have a feeling, ba so based on what I, ooh, Based on my time in this zone during the media tour, there was nothing here at the time. But, based on that, my assumption is that I can... Ooh, automated death machines. Get out of the way. My assumption is that I can straight up just get all of the random ones. Oh, no! Death machines! Derpy, I need you now more than ever. Oh, this is just an automated bitch. I did hit for a lot. More north? More north? All right, I can do it. Driving through the ruins of a city? I'm going full Final Fantasy right now. Final Fantasy 7 style. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. That's terrible. 
Northwest. So it's like around the corner. It's probably up there somehow. I gotta, I gotta get up there. I can do this. I can do this. Discovered a new area. Hell yes. New location. Can I drive through here? Yeah, I can. What? Is it up on the highway? Son of a beesh. Well, how would I get up there? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Little JC fell through the cracks and that's it. So how do I get directly over to the west? No, it's like right over here then, huh? It's above me. It's right up there. It's on the highway like I thought it was. Son of a barbecue! Bro, I've got to get up on the highway. Bro, i got to get up on the- Bro, i got to get up on the highway! Play a rope-a-dope with this dope. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm cloud now. Mm, let's get out of here. It's time to leave Midgar. Well, that's a threatening. That's a threatening building. Seems a little too far from my tiny body. I still go south and then west, right? That building is a representation of his desire to fight me. So very large. Is it in this building? You're damn right it is. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Oh, I'm getting flying in this zone like it ain't even no thing. I'm getting flying in this zone like it ain't even no thing. By the way, I'm not sure if it was a joke. I'm not sure if it was a if it was a joke post. That article everyone was posting that the person was like, Final Fantasy. You need to get rid of this collecting things to fly. I'm not sure if that was a joke or that person was on uh, drugs at the time when they wrote that. I'm not sure what it was. But having been through multiple expansions of, Final, of uh, uh, World of Warcraft, let me tell you, I'd rather do this any day of the week. <laughs> I'd rather do this at any point in time, any day you just uh, tell me. Oh, yeah. I'm getting slow roasted by these guys. Woo. And that 
Swad did it. Hey, Novel. What's going on, Nobs? How you doing? How you doing, Raiders? Thank you so much. Thanks for coming and hanging out. We were just talking about Final Fantasy XIV. Wow. We had like a little brief uh, interlude called I'd Rather Hunt for These Than Grind Rep to Fly. It's not in there, huh? There it is. How do I get that? No spoilers. Just a man driving around a destroyed city. Zero spoilers here. Oh, is this a park? Was was a park. Right. Right. There's still more? There are always more. Let me ask you a question. If it's that far west... Ooh, if it's that far west... Would it be smart? No, it's straight west, so it'd be over here. We're going back to the city. I was just going to teleport, but sometimes in life you got to ride. Let's ride, JC. Let's take the roads. Have I been down this way? No. Reggio Urbi Urbanus Urbanissima. Urbanissima. Reggio Urbanissima. Just gonna take the highway. Uh oh. How does it feel to be the current number one Final Fantasy XIV streamer? Hey, you're all number one in my book. You know, I'm going down here. Oh my god, I'm just like aggroing everything. Yes, yes, yes. What the damn? Everything blew up so quickly. Yo, you know people just farming right now. God bless. Good on y'all being the, the awesome players you are. Oh man, look at them all. Look at them all, there's people's everywhere! Cheese and crackers! Yeah. This quest is not called Nettle Gear Solid. Get out of here, this fate. Koji! Nettle Gear Solid sucks. <laughs> Yeah, if anything, I'm I'm excited to get done with the main story quest so I can start just grinding fates. Because I feel like I need to get this done now rather than later because I don't have any of the shared fate stuff done from uh, the previous expansion because I clearly started later than everyone. And no one was like grinding those out, so I missed out is what I did. I like a good fake grind. That means I can bring alts in, have a good time, alt and around, you know. Plus, I love it. Look, look, I put in a lot of work for this shit. And the fact that the game was like, hey, we're going to have additional lines of dialogue just for you, buddy, is great. It makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. That was great. Having the white mages acknowledge that I like did a bunch of stuff and fought their taint. I, I, I assaulted the taint with the white mages. I really got in there, got dirty, and like slapped around the taint. I would say I dove head first into the taint to battle for the white mages to purify the taint. I had to clean the taint. Get real in there. I can't believe that's the white mage quest. <laughs> it's so dumb. Oh, white mages. No, you don't fight the Grundle. You don't do that.
Alright, come on. This has to be the last one. Alright, this has to be the last. I could look, but I don't want to spoil myself. You spent $40 on a level skip. I'm not sure how much I spent to skip White Mage, but I knew that I hated it, and I immediately skipped it. I fought the taint and was like, you're telling me I gotta do a few more levels of this? Nah. <laughs> I was like, nah. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I can officially say I didn't technically level up every job. I did pay to skip White Mage. That's cause y'all told me I needed to get a healer leveled in order to see that bonus quest scene, which was worth it. Admittedly, totally worth it. Also, Northwest. What the sh In Shadowbringers, if you did every single uh, job quest, so if you did the, like, tank... And DPS when it was grouped, I think, and then magic DPS and healer. If you did those four quests, at the end, you unlocked a special quest chain. And it was great. It was fantastic. Huge fan. It tied into the rest of the story and was like, roll quests. You're right, they're rolls. They're called rolls. Whatever. Uh, but the problem was, at the time I had a tank, I think I had my warrior. I think my warrior was uh, level 70. And my, I think I had a dragoon at level 70. And... I think, oh, my red mage, obviously, and then I had nothing under healers and was like, what am I going to do? So I started leveling white mage. I straight up stopped the story. If you are if you want to know about real stalling, two times during the course of Shadowbringers that I stopped playing the story, one was to go level a white mage, which I was like, you know what? I can't be bothered. I'm just going to like, I'm out. I'm out. So I just paid for it so I could get it to max. And the other time was when I leveled warrior for literally one cutscene. I wanted one cutscene's worth of looking cool and lore filled and it was absolutely the right call. It was absolutely the right call. And frankly, I'll, I'd do it again. Like I said, like I said, I am prepared at a moment's notice to do this again in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat, am I ready one more time to go full lore? To go full lore into this ending. Just you wait. I'm ready. I am very ready. You don't even know. Is that it? It's never ending. It's never ending. All right. So actually, there was one down here. It's down here, isn't it? Son of a bee. Well, you know what? Nothing like a little murder. Oh, the forgotten. Uh forgotten. Obvious. Don't worry. I'll very slowly kill them. Meanwhile, Naming Way is just like, I want to go to the moon. I'm getting there, Naming Way. We're going to get to the moon. Don't worry.
Red Mage is popular because it literally is like, oh, did you like Red Mage and Shadowbringers? Don't worry. We've changed nothing. <laughs> Which, uh, according to me, is the best change you can make. Don't change anything. Oh, you want new abilities? They're the same abilities you had. Well, I ran into them more. Ooh. You know what? What if I just... I think I die? Well, that is aggro. I'm just a little boy. I'm just a little boy. Get him. I'm just a little tiny baby boy. I'm definitely not an old man with an old man voice. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely not 8,000 years old. This seems like a problem. Oh boy, oh boy. What if I jump into here and go, you? Well, why'd I do that? Oh my ass. Get out of there, wiretapper! We're so small and they're so big! Run, little Lollafell friend! Run! I got you, wiretapper. Don't you worry. I got you. I got what I wanted, everything's good. And somehow we're still back here. So it's like around this corner here, huh? So it's like down down this way? Like over here? Is that possible? Wasn't I just there? Or is that too many yams? Oh, it's many a yam. It's over here. Just Jesse do story missions on stream? You came at an awkward time for me. Usually that's all I do on stream. Look, it's an awkward time. I'm trying to find the things. I'm trying to find some things, you know. Ooh, that's a jagged looking area. I'm very worried it's on this pipe. And if that's the case, I'm gonna have to go here, jump on and go over. We'll, we'll figure this out, we'll figure this out. I believe in us. Mm, little badass. Can I not get on this? Vroom, yeah, there we go. Do 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 Little JC laying pipe. Do 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 do. Actually, riding pipe. Uh, never mind. <laughs> hey! 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 I knew it. I knew it. That has to be it. Okay, it's not it. It's over there somewhere, huh? Tick <laughs> clonk! Thank God for this store-bought mount that is a little bit faster than normal mounts. Mm. 
Was it up on the ice shelf here? Or is that not a place I can get to? Why am I going east? What the shit? It's just one of those days! It's like... Lovely. Now we can continue the story. Do this little JC. Physics! I'm surprised by how many wild beasts there are roaming about the place. Perhaps now that the soldiers have gone, they're free to wander and forge as they please. The few buildings I can see don't appear to be residences. They may still warrant investigation, though. This boy. I spy with my little telescope. Whoopsie. You pressing the space button. A massive sheep thing? Or maybe it's a cow. Not what we're after either, eh? Mm, is that an ether current? Ah, no, just a wind sprite. Koji, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Am I? That is a good roast, is what that is. <laughs> that is, uh, yeah, no, that's been there. I've been there. Hmm. Other than that, it's all snow, snow, snow. But <gasps> lo, what do I see over oh, yon hillock? There's no mistaking it. That's a girl. A girl. A survivor, show me. Over there, behind that tree. It looks like she's running away from something. Surely not us. Mm, she wouldn't even know we're here unless <gasps> she had a telescope like mine. All that I can tell is that she's wearing a pale green dress. Oh, rather fetching one of that. Am I the I'm an alien of this game? Is that who? Is that who I would be? Well, I can tell it's a girl. I can tell she's wearing a dress. And other than that, she's running away. <laughs> She'll be long gone by the time we get anywhere near. But we need to be able to follow her footprints. I'll let Lucia know where you are heading. Oh, and take these warming tinctures with you. Poor girl. The poor girl must be chilled to the bone, if not on the verge of freezing to death. That's actually very thoughtful. Thank you. 
but won't you need some for yourself? No, no, I'll be fine. As a man of chivalry, my honor demands I do no less. And, lest we forget, the very reason we are here is to protect those that you're just trying to get on our good side so you can bang. And go! And Godspeed! This guy's like, I've played RPGs before. If I give her enough gifts and t and choose the right answers according to this prim this premise strategy guide, she'll not only bang me, but be my number one companion for the rest of the game. Unlocking several additional options. He gets it. He gets it. He knows how to play RPGs, this guy. Alright, we found little footsie steps. This is gonna be real awkward if he meant, like, girl. And not, like, lady. I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna end up canceled for that one. According to the label here, this place was used by those involved with the extracting of Cerulean. We're getting closer, I'm sure of it. At first, we thought she'd gone inside the building, but the door doesn't look to have been open in some time. She might still be nearby, so we'll keep looking around here. Then again, it's also possible that she ran right past this place. Would you mind searching up ahead? On it. You mean... Directly up ahead? You mean literally right here? Do you think she's riding on uh, Ozma? Do you think that's her? Wasted this. Oh. She really was just right up ahead. You're terrible at hiding! The girl in green dress anxiously surveys her surrounding. Were you to call out to her from this distance, it might attract wild beasts. Get really close, then yell at her. On it. I learned that one from I'm an alien. What? What is the... What? What? Can I just go directly at her? Run, little JC. Chase her down. Run her down. She heard this person was too cool and started hanging out. Oh, hey. Hi. Now you see everyone in chat. I did that because I think we all should have a talk about approaching strange women and how you shouldn't run directly at them. This was a lesson in one way not to approach women. You shouldn't run at them. That's weird. If anything, it's going to make them vanish and disappear from your life and you don't want that. So next time, you should do it this way that I'm going to show you now. I had to show you a way to fail before I can show you how you do it correctly. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> that was called stalking. You don't want to be a stalker. You want to be a hero like little JC here and doing the quest correctly.
You don't want to run up to her. That's weird. If anything, what you want to do is wait in the distance. And as, as she's like starting to notice, you hide. Right? You don't want to be seen. That'd be weird. So you want to make sure you hide at all times. Oh, I got spotted. <laughs> See, what you saw there was I failed stalking because stalking is wrong. And I would never do that. But for the, ca the sake of this game, I will do what I am totally against. Don't. Don't. Stalk. Unless you need to find some people in hiding. In which case, I guess you have to. <laughs> and I hide my ass back here. That's a bird butt. That doesn't help me. You don't see nothing, lady. La la la, just walking a different direction than you. La la li, la di da, lo di di, definitely not doing anything wrong. La di da di da, gonna run up here. La di di, just a little tiny red mage living his best life, hiding around this tree. La di 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 di. Nope, ain't nobody here. Shh, Hemingway. Look at this boy just reading. <laughs> He's over it. He's like, I'll be reading. Get out of the way, Derpy! Naming way, she's gonna see you! Ain't nothing to see here. Now, after stalking them long enough to know where they live, then you approach them. <laughs> Whoo, still in one piece. Hi, I'm little JC. <laughs> I'm here to help you. <laughs> Who are you? Stay back. 
This house is packed with explosives. Take another step and I'll blow this place sky high. Whoa, whoa, lady. Whoa. Please, we just want to talk. Were you stalking me? What the? You don't just go stalk people, Alphano. What the? I'm Alphano. This is my sister, Alice, and our good friend, Little. We have no intention of hurting or taking anything from you or anyone else. I give you my word. We and our comrades have come to provide aid to the people of Garlemald. Aid? You savages are the ones responsible for all this. You did this to us. Whoa, what? We didn't, I promise you. One of the reasons we came was to find out what happened here, in fact. The Tlothoroi are the ones to blame. They're the ones who laid waste to Garlemald. They won't stop until they've destroyed the entire world. They're the enemy, our enemy. On our way, we encountered Imperial soldiers who had been made their thralls. Those poor souls are now in our care, and we strive to cure them of their affliction. The first person who uh, we've met who wasn't already enslaved. How are you able to escape the Tlothoroi's influence? Are there any others like you? I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to overwhelm you. Let's start with the introductions. Can you tell me your name? My name is Licinia. All right. As far as I've managed to say, as far as for how I've managed to say sane, I've been asking myself the same question. Ever since that night and the roar, that terrible roar, then the screams. I was screaming too, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Then came the silence. Everything was still. It's like waking up from a nightmare. I thought that maybe the fighting had stopped, so I stepped outside. If your hells are rare, I saw one that day. Hold on. We have to pause right in the middle of this. <laughs> Remember I said that my one drive was getting full? Oh, it's full, all right. Oh, it's full, all right. Oh, my God. Uh, hey, Mari. Mari? What can I delete? <laughs> what can we delete? What is this file? Well, Pat. <sighs> like, not even close. Oh, we can delete this. Delete. What else can I delete? Uh, like stuff on this, on the, in the, in the drive. What is deletable? What should I be deleting? Uh, doing this now? Yeah. Uh, Look, we're doing this now. We're doing this right now. I need room. Uh, <laughs> I, need, I need room. Go to this week, I guess. All right. Uh, this we have to save, right? I think it's already, well, it's only like five gigs. That's not much. Scary Game Squad is e empty. Everything that's full is in, um. The stuff you haven't put up yet, the streams. Gotcha. I, I got this. I mean, that's not going to help me right now. No. What else can we futz with? <laughs> you know, don't sound too excited. Is there anything in here that's that's uh, editing shenanigans? Oh, my God. There's tons of stuff in here. Yeah, this is a Julia cool. version of editing shenanigans. Can Wait, we delete this? No, it's not. Seriously? Literally, Julia editing shenanigans. Did we just double copy all the files? No way. I think we did, bro. <laughs> oh my god, we have doubles of everything in here. What? Delete it? I she would said, never. Said, All right, delete. I'm deleting it right. I'm deleting it right now. That's the easiest cleanup yeah, I've ever had. For sure, I go. We go to the right one. Could no longer find this item. Eh, skip it. Just do this for all. Just do it for all. 
And we'll find out. We'll figure it out. I hope this isn't the, like, a watch no way that's the main one, and if it's a shortcut, it would say it's a shortcut. You yeah, say that. Just check inside of it. Because, look, we have our main one there. Well, it's already gone. Oh. JFK. Yeah, we have the main one. There's ours. Yep. That's the normal one. All right. Yes. It's still deleting Ooh, stuff. Sinking to delete. All right. Deadly premonition is just like a thing it's doing. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I'm going to click empty recycling bin. I can't wait to see what's left. I have 414 gigabytes free now. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Thank you. We're good. <laughs> I run this office. It's a tight ship is what it is. <laughs> mm, uh, all right. Start recording again. And let's pretend I'm still doing the same line. Everything's fine. If your hells are real, I saw one that day. I ran past friends, people I'd known all my life, eyes vacant, dead, staring at the sky. Others were mad and violent. I saw them struggle with soldiers, but didn't stay to watch. I fled as far as my legs would take me. Did they notice the background music stopped? <laughs> Do you have family here? Is this their home? No. This is Victor's spoils. A mansion for retired soldiers, or it was. But now, me and my... Me and a few others are, um, borrowing it. As for the explosives, I, I was making that up. I just wanted to keep everyone else safe, and I didn't know if you were... The truth is, our supplies are running low. You said you're here to help? Can you? Of course. Whatever assistance we can provide, we will. Thank you. I better tell the others first, though. Wait here. Okay, we will. The mansion explodes. This is everyone. Cena says, uh, Licinia says that you can be trusted. But these are just, uh, but these are desperate times. We'd be fools to let foreign troops in our home. Having said that, were you to provide us with means of heating the place as a sign of goodwill, perhaps we could take you at your word? If that's too much to ask, then leave us be. Time to put my firewood gathering skills to use. Could you provide the spark with a little magic, Alice? We'll have that fire burning in no time. May we build it under the gazebo? What? Uh, oh, you mean the bower? Yes, yes, uh, do as you will. 